to Tech Geek Unboxed. My name is Pete and today we're going to take a look at a Cryorig H7 processor cooler. And I'm very happy today because my aftermarket processor cooler arrived in this box right here which we're going to open right now using my trusty knife. So, the box is pretty big as you can see compared to my hands. It's, it's pretty huge. Let's see on the box here. On the specifications. Extreme efficiency, fine tuning, cooling, capacity. Well, I made, I made like a two week. For two weeks I wanted to, to, to buy a processor cooler so I can overclock my 6300 AMD. And, um, this is the only cooler that would fit, I mean not the only one, but the, the best cooler that would fit my, uh, my computer. And I'm going to show you why is the, the, uh, the receipt, register your product to receive an extended three year warranty. Very good. Okay, and when I open the box, you can see that that's the top of the cooler I watched so many reviews and of coolers and this basically is somewhat even better than the um, cooler master the 212 Evo here it is beautiful little fan nice Okay, so this is the top here are the caps from the heat pipes there This is a plastic cover on top of it So it's kind of flush Let's see on the underside oh, That looks that looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the fan and I suggest you do this as well because it's a lot easier to install into your case and I don't know, I heard that the cooler is hard to remove. Well, you just pull this tab right here. You pull it away and then pull it to the outside. And this is how you get, get the cooler off. Here you go. That's it. I don't know why they said it's, it's difficult to remove. Anyway, moving on. Let me just put the cooler to the side. Here you have the... You have the brackets, I'm sure. This is set to, I think it's set to, to Intel right now. And for the AMD, wait. Okay, that's that's for the AMD. You see, you have to pinch it together to to set it to the correct the correct position. Okay, and this is this hive design, as you can see. This is basically to make air um, more compact when it goes through the, the cooler and that means that it will cool, uh, cool the, the cooler down better. I mean the air when it's rushing through, it's going to cool the processor better. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Really nice packaging, must say. There we go. Okay, you got the C uh, CP7 uh, thermal paste. What else do we have here? Uh, product registration card and installation manuals. And I think these are going to be the brackets for the. AMD and Intel sockets. Here we go. We've got everything you need right there. Let's see what else there is in the packaging. Oh, and you've got another set of um, of fan mounts for the cooler. 
so that's a good thing that they attach that as well I heard it's not gonna make a huge difference if you put two fans on maybe one or two degrees tops and yeah well, let me just get these out of the way oh yeah I'm gonna be back with the computer and show you how to install it so stay tuned Unfortunately, my computer is not gonna fit into the frame but I'll try so it's a it's a Z3 plus case uh, from Zalman and I'm just pulling the cover off right now it's not a <laughs> an expensive computer by any means uh, don't really have the budget but what I was managed to buy for around $450 is this you've got the 660 Ti from MSI uh, I've got a 6300 FX AMD processor I've got 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM oh let me oh I gotta remove this so I have to remove this this part of the case you can apparently put a put a fan here that you can set up to you know blow some air on on the components just get this out of the way and then we can start okay well, that's removed so let's remove this and this removes like this you you hold this down this latch and you pull and that's how you get rid of that and now you just push down a little bit till it comes out and same on the other side disconnect that and now the cooler should slide off now just wiggle it a bit and it will come off yep here it is there you have the processor in not a great shape but here you go this has a uh, a copper core right there and it sounds like a jet engine taken off so I don't really like that cooler from AMD now what we have to do is just clean the cooler itself and why it was so hard to find a cooler for this computer is because of the RAM. I've got a Corsair Vengeance RAM which have the tall heat sinks. Apparently they don't do anything, they just look good. And you basically can't install anything else other than than a cooler that it's that is offset. So what I would recommend you to do is just put some alcohol in this. I don't have any alcohol, but I'm, I think I'm going to manage cleaning it off because it's... And let's get cracking and take this out. So you need to remove the the brackets from here let me see if I can get some light in there okay that's much better you got two screws there two screws on the other side and this should pop out okay this is pretty straightforward one two three so I got the secondary camera set up as well it's well I can't show you it's right here so you're gonna see a lot better okay so just need to unscrew these and then we're good to go with the installation
Okay, so now we remo removed both the uh, tension brackets. Now we have to get to the other side so I can show you what there is. Okay, and here we go. This is basically what comes off here. This is the AMD panel and uh, we're gonna take a look at exactly how to uh, how to install the CryoRig H7 cooler. So this is the back plate and for AMD as you can see this is like etched in and then it even tells you Intel like this and AMD here you go AMD see you're gonna use these four screws right here and you position the back plate like this and it should even stick to the motherboard and it does see and what you do using these four screws you got the screws here you just put them through the holes okay so once you have the four this screws in you got to put in these little little things and I'm gonna show you from the other side okay and now what you do is just put these on like so if you could hold on from the other side I just laid it down so you guys can see exactly what's going on you just push them through because this is what you you hold from the other side and this is how you push them through that's it and this basically holds everything in place okay yeah and if you can use a screwdriver maybe to hold the the screw on the other side fixed so so these little, it's, it's like a sleeve. Okay, and everything's on. And now, we're gonna put in the, put on the paste, and then we can, uh, we can continue installing the cooler. So now that we applied that, let me just get the other camera. Start recording. Not sure where to put it. I think this is gonna be a good place, maybe. Or not. Yeah, like this. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Thermal paste to just put either rice grain stuff on it. Like this. And I hope that's enough. Okay, so I've set up both cameras and right now I'm gonna install the cooler. Just don't forget to peel this off first. Like this. And now we're gonna put the cooler into its position. Now, let's see here, just line up the holes if you can. Like this. But I did that screw first from the bottom and now I'm going to try and do the other screw from the top, the opposite side. And then that's going to hold the cooler in place, hopefully. I'm constantly pushing the cooler a little bit so, so I can screw the, the screw in. And now I'm still doing the star pattern, I mean a cross pattern, just so everything is fitted nicely, and don't, I mean try not to over, over tighten them, because you're going to end up breaking something or screwing up your motherboard, just enough so that the cooler doesn't move around. So I'm gonna tighten them up a little bit and the cooler doesn't move so that's that's good as well let's install the fan which is right here you can see it's 1600 rpms and it's gonna be really nice and quiet 
Okay, managed to connect the cable. I'll tell you what, it's easy to get the fan off, but it's kind of hard to get it back on. Oh, crap. Okay, everything's in place. And we're gonna go and test it. See what's what, see if it works or not. Spins pretty nice. Okay, stick around. Moment of truth, we're gonna turn it on. Oh, and look at that, beautiful. Beautiful. It works. Changes with stock cooler. That's how much it is. I mean, it was. And then here's the test that I ran right now. It took the same amount of time. And the highest it got was, uh, let me see. Highest it got was uh, 38 deg degrees Celsius. And highest it got here with the stock cooler is 48. So, it's pretty, pretty good. So I'm good to overclock. So thanks for watching Tech Geek Unboxed. My name is Pete and you have a great day. Bye.